took me 15 minutes up. <laughs> I must have shed at least a few stone. I don't want to switch it off. Ah, that's better. Fudge! Fudge! I've switched it off! Oh, 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 um, right. Right off. Hey, how do we look, huh? Have the pounds fallen off me, have they? Look. <laughs> no. You still look like a 200 pound gobsheen to me. You're getting awful obsessed with your weight. You'll end up like that fella, Willy Ring, from Tool End. Oh, Pudgy Ring! The big fat head lardy boy! <laughs> sure, he must have been at least 50 stone. Oh, he managed to lose the weight eventually. He spent years and hundreds of pounds on those newfangled contraptions like yours and, yeah. and all kinds of diets. Okay. But uh, he was having no luck at all. In fact, he practically given up altogether. Until back in 85, a new diet pill came out. Willie was as sceptical as ever, until he heard what the pill could do. Oh. oh, it was a medical wonder. All you took was one pill, and you could continue to eat as much as you wanted, but the pounds would fall away. Oh, that's <laughs> with one pill. Did it work? Indeed it did. And thousands of people took the pill and continued to eat like pigs, but never gained another pound. Uh, Willie took it and indeed the pound slipped away. He was delighted to be down to a nice spelt 12 stone. He was feeling great. That was until the night of the nightmare. His stomach hadn't been feeling great that day. His bowels didn't know if they were coming or going, so he decided to go to bed to sleep it off. <laughs> Had he a bit of a hot arse on him, did he? Yeah, but it wasn't his arse that concerned him. In his nightmare, his stomach started to rumble. He put his hand over it and could feel something moving inside. Then a sharp pain hit him like nothing he'd ever felt before. <laughs> As a snake-like head burst out of his belly and looked him in the eye. Jesus. For the love of St. Nicholas and the Seven Piles. Aperture was only a nightmare. Or perhaps a premonition. He went to the doctors anyway with the stomach pains that were still bothering him. The, the doctor's face went ashen grey as he told him the symptoms. Oh, you wouldn't have taken one of them diet pills, would you? Immediately, the doctor sent him to a specialist in tropical diseases in Drogheda. Tropical diseases? In Why would they send him there? Well, Willie Ring's nightmare had become a reality. You see, the miracle pill was not a pill at all, but an egg. An egg? Yep, an egg of a Polynesian tapeworm that had hatched and grown inside his stomach and eaten everything that Willie could throw at it. Trouble was, the diabolical pill makers hadn't realised how big the tapeworm would grow. Well, how big did they grow? 30 feet long and four inches wide. Jeez, Pudgy had a feckin' python living in his dirt box. Uh, did they kill it? No, you, you can't kill it or it would release a deadly toxin. The only way is to starve them for a week and try to tempt them out of their host. What exactly now do you mean by, uh, tempt them out? Well, there are only two exits in the human body that you could get a four-inch wide worm out of you. The way it got in, or the other end. <laughs> you mean the, uh, tradesman's entrance? Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, chocolate highway? Yeah, that's what you <laughs> The brown chimney! Y yeah, 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 sh sh shut up. Anyway, Willie made his decision to let the worm finish its journey, uh, so to speak. He had to squat over a saucer of milk and just wait. You see, a tapeworm can't resist the lactic acid in milk. Eventually it would pop its head out, and then the doctor would grab it by the neck and wrench it from your aching hole. Did Pudgy survive the ordeal? Yep, but it took three weeks of squat before they got the worm out. Poor old Willie died within the year. Couldn't face food again. Ended up wasted away to one stone, living in a shoebox wrapped in cotton wool. Jesus, what Shocking. a way to go. Shocking. Tell you what, no more of this diet and lark for me, so yeah. I'm taking this yoke off. Oh, uh, give it over here. Uh, I I'll drop the machine back for you in the morning. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, help! 
What are you doing, Potch? Uh, it's a shame not to use up the batteries uh, after paying for them. Oh, oh. Uh, right. Oh, yeah, more power. Oh. 